What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have a sick review for you guys. This is my friend Dan's rifle, this is a KWA LM4, and as you can tell, it's not stock. So up here in the front, we're going to go ahead and start with the front and move back. We have a little suppressor that goes like this, and it has a really cool little, how it sits a little bit further out than the inner barrel does and the rail system. This is a Viking Tactics rail system. I believe this is about 13 inches long and it's really, really cool. I really like the grip. There's nothing on it, but it's really nice if you want to get your little C-clamp in and get whatever Chris Costa operations you want in. Um, up top, we have a Magpul RSA. This is called a rail sling adapter. So if you want to run from a one point to a two point, you can and it'll just hit like this instead of kind of sit down like this. I really like that. Up top we have a zombie stopper holographic sight. This has a really cool kind of reticle in it. It's like a zombie stopper operator thing or whatever. You can't really see it, but it's just kind of cool. It goes from red to green. Has a nice QD mount. It's not super sturdy, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, it runs off some, some cool batteries and just is, it works really well. This body is a Magpul PTS body, and it is beautiful to say the least. I love Magpul stuff. For those of you guys that have seen my channel for a while and know my guns, I really like Magpul stuff. I ran the exact same Magpul body on my Polar Star for like two years, and that's the gun that I've retained for the longest before I just sold it. On the side, we have sweet PTS logos, Cal Multi, it just gives all the Magpul industry, Magpul PTS, X, KWA, so it's just really cool, um, kind of how they add all their trades on it. It does unfortunately say manufactured in Taiwan right here, which is like what it is, but I guess it is true. Magpul logo is really nice. You also have a Magpul MOE stock right here, and on the back, the Magpul UBR, which also happens to be my favorite stock and is what I ran on my Polar Star for a while. So really cool gun, really great stock. These stocks adjust a ton. You can do kind of whatever you want with it. I really like uh, this position right here. I just think it's perfect for kind of how I have, I run my optic a little bit further back than Dan does, but it's a really cool gun. Mags, or KWA LM4 mags, standard Sanag mags, and they're pretty great. Um, I also have some mags here, which if I want to work on my Magpul operate changes. On the body itself, we have a Magpul selector. So this is an ambidextrous fire selector. It's what Magpul produces, and it's a real one and works uh, with the other guns. Also have a double dual sling point attachment back here if you want to run both your slings. On the inside, it has an end pass. He got this from Red Wolf. Um, this is an end pass, so if you want to change the FPS, it's really nice for those gas gun users that need to switch, say, hey to a field. FPS at a certain time or if they want to run uh, uh, CQB and get it under 450 feet per second or 350 feet per second per se. 450 feet per second would be crazy indoor. Alright guys, that's going to conclude this video, um, but thanks for watching. I will see you BBPU operators later. Hopefully this short video was enjoyable. Alec Mac 1 on 1, out. Pew, pew.